Hey, it's Amy again, your Mac mentor. Now I love Apple products, but one of the things that drives me crazy is that recents folder, which used to be called all my files. So I wanted to show you what it actually does and how you can change your settings if you're not a fan of it as myself. Here we go. Okay, so I just got a new Mac with Big Sur. And when I click on Finder, the first thing I see is Recents. And it shows me everything on my computer, or at least um, what the most recent items were that I've opened. Now, the important thing to know about the Recents folder is that it's not a storage place for files such as your every other file on your computer pretty much. Um, if we turn on in the view menu the path bar we want to turn that on um, and then let's choose a file and when you choose a file it shows you where this file is located so this is not in a recents folder, it's actually on my desktop. So if I delete things out of recents, it's actually deleting from their original location. So this is just showing me files from all over my computer. So you don't wanna go through here and delete a bunch of stuff. Now, um, this may be helpful to find your most recent files. However, um, I prefer when I open my finder window to see a different folder. So I'm gonna choose iCloud Drive. Um, so in order to do that, if I don't wanna see recents every time I open up a Finder window, I'm just gonna to go to Finder Preferences when I don't have any windows open. And this very first window um, item down here, New Finder Window Show Recents. We can just switch that to whichever folder you want here. I'm just gonna choose iCloud Drive and close that. The next time I open a Finder window, I'm going to see my preferred folder instead of the Recents folder. So if that's been confusing you or if you've accidentally deleted items from there without realizing that you're deleting them from your computer um, permanently, um, then hopefully this will help you to understand that better. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or set up an appointment from mymacmentor.com.